Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> it's your girl, Celia Simone here for allhiphop.com. And today I'm going to be checking in with Regine Carter. We're going to talk all about everything family hustle, being a TikTok queen, and so much more. Regine, what's going on? Hi, thank you for talking <laughs> to me today. Girl, we are so happy to have you. So I have so many questions. Okay, first of all, tell us how you're doing today. What's going on? What have you been doing this past week? Just well, you know, I just woke up not too long ago because I just got back from LA and my sleep ah. schedule is kind of like, right. uh, but you know, I've just been chilling, work, like I was about to start, I was going to the mountain today with my mom, but I kind of overslept that. I don't know if I'm going to wow. go, but I just been trying to just stay healthy, you know, stay corona healthy. free. Yes, <laughs> corona free and just do we, you know. Well, um, speaking of your mom, you know, I do watch the family hustle. I am an avid watcher. Mm -hmm. I watch it every week. <laughs> and it seems like you and your mom have gotten even closer, even now that you're an adult. Tell yeah. us what that's like. It's great. I feel like my mom is like, you know, growing up, my mom was a type of saying, like, I'm not your friend. Like, I'm your mother first. You know, that was like the type of mom that I have. So, like, growing up now that I'm grown and I can ask her about things. Me and my mom, we be on the phone for, like, hours. We talk all day. We That's just, like, beautiful. and we, we motivate each other, too. Like, she'll call me and be like, hey, you need to get, you need to do this. You need to do that. And I'll do the same. Like, she's really, like, my best friend. Our relationship definitely has gotten way stronger. So I I absolutely love that. That's amazing. That's how my mom and I are too. And I know a lot of women sometimes have issues with their mom. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot of women I know don't get along with their mom. So I think that's yeah. always a blessing, right? It's such a blessing. It's so healthy. Right. Now, since you guys are cool, how is it talking about men with her? Is it weird? Is it... <laughs> uh, like, <laughs> what do y'all talk about? Does she be like, nay, no, that's too much. What's too much and what's not too much? <laughs> We have totally different types. That's the only thing with my me and my mom. Like, you know, now she's, you know, grown and she's looking for, you know, a different type than me. My my type is like, you know, I'm still trying to have fun, you know. She just be like, you like him? But he look like that. Like, Girl, that's just a little slang. It's just like we just go back and forth about that. But in all honesty, I am my mom when it comes to dating. Like she, everything that like I grew up seeing, like I am that. Like, I'm just like, no, I'm not. It, I'm not here for it. I don't listen. Like I will listen sometimes, but I ain't gonna listen to you now. Right. You know, we can. I'm gonna do my own thing. Yeah, we can be a team. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my mama taught me a lot though. That's amazing. Now, is it uncomfortable talking to your dad about relationships? How, like, how is that different than when you're talking to your mom? Yes, a little bit. Like, I would ask, actually, actually, my last relationship, I actually got more open with my father because he could understand a little bit more, you know, because I was dating a rapper then. So, like, I would go to him and be like, you know, just tell him something. He would just be like, tell me the truth. Like, baby, this is what it is. You know, you, you, it's not, it's a, it's the profession that th that's what they are. And if I want to deal with, I, my father was a rapper. So, I mean, I know what it of is. Course. I know how the life is. So it's just, he will always give me advice on that. But talking to him about boys was a little weird. You know? Now, like, I mean, given the fact that your dad is a legendary rapper, what have you learned from coming from this man and then going out in, your, you know, in this world and dating a rapper? What was the biggest lesson? You know, no matter what, my father always, you know, showed me, like, you know, respect and love. So, therefore, I look for that in, like, men. You know, like, I don't right. I don't take no disrespect. I want you to open my door. My daddy don't, my daddy don't let, don't walk in the door without me going in there first. He's oh, He always opens the door. He's a gentleman, you know, like, so that, that, you know, it's really high for these men a little bit, but... You know, if he also shows me that men are going to be men, boys are going to be boys. And I feel like it's just all in all how you go about it, go about situations right. in your relationship, who, who you are, who, who you let in, keep a lot of stuff to yourself. Like my dad is a real private person. So, right. Yeah. 
Now, on to other things. So, Regine, during quarantine, you've become the TikTok queen. People are even saying that you're going to be the next big actress. Has anyone reached out to you with a role or any work because of your TikTok? Actually, yes. I actually just had an audition. Like, I did really good. And I'm also... Um, I just got news that I'm supposed to be filming in sometime in July. I don't know too much on it. I'm waiting for the information, what? but it's been great. <laughs> Thank you, TikTok. <laughs> it's I awesome. love it. So, so this is what I want to know. Did Tyler Perry call you? Did Mr. Perry call you? Are you going to be working at Tyler Perry Studios? Let us know. <laughs> you see, um, I've worked like with, say for instance, like, I've been in the family kind of like within like say shoot I've worked with people like on his thing but I've never actually got a call from him like you know I've been I've shot pilots and did things like that like but I've never got an actual call from him from him still waiting on that you know (laughs) shout Mr. (laughs) Kanye but I mean I don't know my agents are working on it so you never know. I know God got me, so stay tuned. Wait, so you got an actual acting agent to get you a role? Oh, yeah. Are you taking this seriously? I'm with BYSB Talent. Um, I'm super excited. Like, you know, they're they're very good, you know. And they're loving. They they look out for me, so hey. Go ahead, girl. I'm ready. I love to hear that. That is awesome. So now that we know that you're going to be diving headfirst into acting, will you ever return to music? Tell us about that. Yeah, you know, OMG girls in the past, and you know, we did do Zonique. Zonique was like, listen, every time Regine says she's gonna record some music, she don't. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Will we return it to music ever? I mean, like, I like to do music for fun. Like when me and my dad is in the studio making music, I just think that's just so dope and fun to me. I think it would be dope for me and the girls to do like a little new little song to just play around and have fun. But as far as like music as my profession and this is what I want to do, now nah, it's acting. That's what I get my all to, acting, fashion, just showing my personality, you know, engaging with my fans, like music, it's all right. I get that to my daddy. <laughs> well, I mean, COVID kind of messed up the whole Millennium Tour uh, thing. But now let's bring it back. You know, Zonique did say that she would be open to do a reunion with the OMG girls. No, 2020, you know, concerts are back. Would you be open to doing that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll be open. I mean, but, you know, the OMG girls was different because they had a little... We we were the OMG girls and they were OMG. Okay. So you know when we were the OMG, it was like a couple songs. We was young. I mean, if they want to bring that back, I mean, we had a couple fans though. We had a little fan base. So it's only a reunion <laughs> tour. Yeah, true. I'm trying to go on a tour with Tyler Perry though. You know, a little acting tour, a little play. <laughs> I know that's right, Tyler Perry. You do that? Right. <laughs> a little play. Well, I love that. So, you know, back to Family Hustle, you film. What is it like filming today as a full-fledged adult opposed to, like, making your cameos even just a few years ago? What's the difference? Um, With Family Hustle, I feel like we kind of jumped into something that we already knew, kind of, because we knew the people. Are, we're, it's like we're working with our family. We're working with our friends. Like, so... I kind of jumped in as like as comfortable, but I was still younger. So like, I didn't really know like how to, like I always been on reality TV, but this was just something different. So of course I was a little, you know, nervous. I was dating and I was just doing all the time. I definitely grown a lot um, for my, I have more like respect for myself, more self-worth. Um, and it's a humbling experience experience too because it's a, such a family show and everybody is everybody really goes through like really what we go through and it don't matter who you are family is family and at the end of the day we all come together for that one moment or that that holiday or just to like you know congratulate each other or if we need a hug or it's just it's right. real life stuff you know so the show it was a great experience for me so you know i'm not gonna lie in watching you you seem so much more confident and secure these days Mm -hmm. what do you attribute that to 
Um, God, um, I pray a lot. Um, I've been like a couple months ago, I just, I was talking to this, um, like a spiritualist, like an, um, advice, like a um, counselor kind of, and she just like helped me a lot. And I really got to know myself. And even during the pandemic, I sat down and really prayed and just, you know, understood things that I was doing wrong and understood people in my life that wasn't supposed to be. And just like, you know, I just had to regroup myself and grow. So, yeah. Right. I know that's right. (laughs) So, I mean, fast forward, are you dating anyone? No. Because as confident as you are, I'm like, girl, who is the lucky guy? Somebody put a smile on your face. (laughs) No, I'm not dating nobody. So you're just staying focused 100%. Yes. (laughs) Nobody. (laughs) So, I mean, you know, just to kind of circle back, do you look for your parents' approval in, like, overall? Or do you think that you're past that point? I mean, you have two pretty successful parents. Your dad, rapper, your mom, a personality, an entrepreneur, her bonnets. Mm -hmm. Now, Baby Rainbow has a book. You know, um, do you feel that added pressure? Do you feel like you need their approval in things that you do, whether it's relationships, uh, business goals? It's so crazy, because with me, like, the first thing I think about is my parents, but I do a lot. Like, I don't know. Like, I just be, I don't know. I'm a product of them. And at the end of the day, you know, I am growing and people are watching me grow and I am going to make mistakes. I'm going to do a couple things that, you know, I don't regret, but I'm mm-hmm. glad that I lived it and I learned from it. So mm-hmm. it's like, I do want to make my parents proud. And it's some things that I like that they're probably not going to like and it's going to turn out to be probably not right and I should have listened to them, but it's all on me just experiencing and just <clears throat> living, living it for myself and learning it for myself. But I do, my parents are a huge influence on my life. They are, <laughs> they are. Cause like, oh, they brought me here. Like I want to make them proud. Like, and no matter what I've been watching my mom and my parents and I feel like they do the same for me. So Now, during this whole Black Lives Matters uh, movement, you know, we have a lot going on in this country. Your dad did make a, a comment where he kind of didn't choose a side. You know, mm-hmm. he was rescued by a cop when he was young, mm-hmm. who, a white cop at that, who saved his life. And then he also mentioned a case where he was coming off his private plane and the police stopped, you know, them and searched the plane. Does that alter or waver how you feel about cops? Does, you know, the fact that your dad was saved by one or... Do, or, 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 or like where where do you stand amongst this black lives my matter? view is black lives matter um me and my father do not agree in that in that we don't speak on politics because it's just like we don't see eye to eye about it <laughs> so it's like i i am all for you know black lives matter i'm not with the cops like i mean i feel like the whole killing black people and just like being just mean I'm I hate mean stuff like I'm Me very too. like positive I did growing up I didn't like negative stuff I don't like killing I don't like watching movies with killing like I don't like that type of stuff so as far as like my daddy view on his we don't really talk about that because I don't really see it but you know hey I love my daddy that don't that don't take away from no, no. love from him he's still we still best friends but we do not speak politics Listen, it's, I mean, you know, that's just the way it is. You can still love someone and agree to disagree. My next question is really about your friends. I mean, there was some speculation that there might've been some kind of weird tension or beef, or maybe just some kind of drifting apart between Taina, Lori Harvey, and that crew. Tell us, I know you addressed it, but is it because you guys are not on the same coast? You live in a different area. Tell us more about that. Well, me, Taina, and Asia grew up together. You know, we're going to always be cool. I met Lori a little later. Taina and Asia, they're they're closer with Lori. So it's like, of course, they're going to hang out more, just like I hang out with my best friend more. They don't, you know, it's it's a, um, everybody don't have to be all oh, buddy, buddy, and just like that. But as far as like, say, for instance, I just went to LA. We were supposed to go out to eat, but Lori had to go out of town. It's no hate, no beef like we're all cool but they do live in LA and I do live in Atlanta so it's like I can't really get to them all the time man. Right. but you have your different friends for your different reasons I feel like um 
Taina and Asia and Lori, they're 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 they they have a friendship. Like I I'm really don't really know Lori like that, but I met them through them. So yeah. Now people were saying some really <clears throat> ignorant stuff, t- saying that it was a light skin dark skin thing. What are your thoughts on that? No, I love myself. I don't know about what they talking about. Right, um, absolutely. I mean, no, absolutely. I feel like. I don't think that it's a light skin, dark skin thing. I feel like people are going to make it like that because that's they've just been doing that for years. About right. the whole colorist thing and just... Right. But when I get with my friends, we all boost each other up. We all feel that each other is beautiful. We take pictures. We love ourselves. We compliment each other. So it's like, it's never about, oh, she don't fit in, she this, or I don't want to do that because they that, no. No. That's it. Awesome. Speculations. Right. <laughs> Right, speculation, okay? Mm-hmm. Allegedly. Right, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Okay, so what do you have going on now? Tell us about some of these new projects. You mentioned your acting. You mentioned not really going back to music. So what else is good? You mentioned fashion. Is there anything that you can tell us about what's going on with fashion? Yes, I have a clothing line with my auntie coming out, on my auntie Beattie. It's called Tom Girl. And oh honestly, God. we're super excited about that. We're supposed to be drop- dropping it next month, but... Well, stay tuned for that. (laughs) I'm trying to just have it perfect because, you know, like with fashion, especially with my name behind it, people be hating. So like I have to make sure, you know, people be like, oh, it don't fit this way or it don't fit that way or the stitch. Like, you know, so I'm just trying to make it perfect before me and my auntie's trying to get it perfect before we like really release it. But it's called Tom Girl and it's pretty dope. I am so excited. Can we see you? I mean, maybe 2021 showing at Fashion Week? Oh, yes. Speak it, please. Might have to keep I that in it. <laughs> Let's write that down. Right. <laughs> and Fashion Week. Right. Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. I think we chopped it up. Let's see what the audience has to say. Let me see if I know how to get to these comments because I'm new to this. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so Tyrell Hampton is asking, why are you not dating? Thank you, Tyrell. Um, why am I not dating? Um, I just feel like I'm young right now. So it's like I just got out of a, out of a relationship. And ain't nobody really showing me done no different type of stuff. So it's like everybody doing the same thing. Like I'm not about to settle for less. No, I know what I deserve. And I know that it's somebody that can give it to me. So I'm going to wait. Now, oh, here's my I'm thing. Gonna... <laughs> and then you said you just kind of got out of a relationship. How long has it been? I feel like it's been a little bit of a minute. <laughs> it's been like, Can we get an actual time frame? <laughs> oh, it's been like since. Um, like sometime last year. I don't know. <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe like okay. really, really for real, like in February. Okay. I won't like, you know, pressure, but okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> maybe like for real in February. Okay, cool. Next question. Jessica Dalby. Do you love being yourself and not the daughter of a celebrity? Also, does it affect you in all different spectrums? Um, I love being myself and I love being the daughter of my parents. I just feel like as far as like celebrity and all of this, I see my parents as, you know, Lil Toya and Lil Wayne, you know, like that's, that's my family. Like we, I don't see them as that, even though they're so big in this world and they have some, they have big fan bases and stuff like that. But like, I mean, I'm very comfortable in what I was blessed to be, you know, born into. Are you excited about the BET Awards this weekend? Are you going to be watching it? Tuned in? Yes. You know, I love music. And I mean, I've been to like almost every BET Awards. I just love going. So it's going to be like a, what is it? It's brought it's um on broadcasting now, right? Or it's something? broadcasting live on CBS. Yeah. That's huge. That is. Super and, I'm huge. Watch, and I can't wait. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, Regine, uh, any other talking points you want to just let us know what's going on? What you know, where can we watch the finale of the show? All that good stuff. It's the season finale is coming up this Monday, correct? This Monday, yes, at eight PM on VH one. Yes, it's going to be lit, you know, exciting um, events that's going on. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Color Me Nay, on Twitter, Regina underscore Carter 1. I have a YouTube, Regina Carter, 
Um, yeah. What's on your YouTube? Is it like a day in the life with Regine? Like, what's I'm gonna go check this out. I'm new to YouTube, so it's like different little things. I do, I do, I do little questions. Um, I do day in the life. Um, I'm about to start doing little challenges and stuff. I'm new to it, so it's like I'm still trying to get the feel for it. But yes, I do have so. Nay, before we go, where do you see yourself in the next one to three, three to five? One of the most successful black females, um, one of the most successful act actresses, like actress. Uh, um, what else? <laughs> I just want to be very successful. You know, I want to be happy. Um, I'm happy now, but like I want to remain happy, remain blessed, remain healthy, and you know. Yeah. Is there anybody who you would like to coach you in acting? Because this is like a real thing for you. Is there anyone that you're looking up to as an actress? Jeez, there's so many people. I love Angela Bassett. I right. love, um, who else? Tika Sumters. I yes. love, um, who else do so good? What's her name? I, I don't know if her name, I think her name is Grace Waters. I think that's what it is. I don't know if that's her TV name, but who Tyler Perry always um cast her because he know how good that lady is. She I think I know who you're talking I'm about. I'm just in love with everybody, and even I even even ask Lauren for help sometimes. Like I just London, right? Yeah, Lauren London, yeah. so she could even be like your mentor too. Mm -hmm. That's fabulous. Yeah, right in the family. Yep. <laughs> That is awesome. Oh my goodness. I, I really think I know who you're talking about. Oh yes, I know that lady. Her name is, um, oh, her actual name is Crystal P. Fox. Crystal P. Fox. Yeah, and she was in A Fall From Grace. She's amazing. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> like, I love her. Like, her and the lady that played Veronica. Oh my goodness, I forget, yes. I need to forget their names, but yes. I am the worst with names, but at least we got that together so crystal p fox is somebody that you look up to angela bassett lauren london i think that's awesome what advice has lauren given you about your um, acting i feel like she's just like told me to just all like don't really don't like make it feel natural you know make it be natural don't make it it shouldn't feel like acting you know right. it should feel like natural and just also be yourself be comfortable when you all when you like when you go in that audition you know just also be comfortable and know yourself i love that yeah. well nay we're gonna get up out of here it was so great chopping it up with you guys be sure to tune in to the family hustle airing on monday on vh1 at 8 p.m it's the season finale can we expect the season four Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Until we meet again, I'm Celia Simone for All Hip Hop. Ciao.